Andre, have you ever wondered what the difference is between snow tires and all-season tires? I wonder that every day. No, you don't. But <laughs> our friends at Nexon sent us these brand new Rodian GTX mud and snow all-season tires. And today we're going to put them on this car, which now has dedicated snow tires in a series of three, make it four tests to find out just how different they are. Let's do it. Our test car today is about as classic of a family hauler as you can get. It's a 2016 Honda Pilot. We figured this is a vehicle that most of you, well, maybe many of you, are driving when you're hauling the family to school or when you're hauling yourself to work. We're gonna do a series of four tests. First, we're gonna take the Pilot with the snows on the highway and see how loud it is. Then we'll do a zero to 60 with the snows. Then we'll have Andre do a hot lap. Then we'll switch tires to these new Nexons and do the exact same three tests. And at the end of this video, Andre, let's go play in the mud and snow up in the mountains because, well, it's spring and it's muddy and snowy up there. This video is not only brought to you by our friends at Nexon, Click on the link below to check them out, but also by IMI Motorsports, where you too can come on the track and see how fast you are either on-road or off-road. All right, Andre, let's go on the highway yes. and see exactly how loud uh, uh, these snow tires are now. We're going to keep the sunroof closed. Uh, that'll eliminate some of the wind noise. Yep. Uh, and of course, there's that massive 3.5 liter VTEC engine that's going to be roaring to life as soon as you accelerate. Ready? Yeah. There it is. There it goes. Yeah, it's a good engine. You can kind of hear the VTEC, just a tiny bit. So what speed are we going to do? We're going to set it at 75 because this is an interstate highway yep. and I'm going to do my cruise control. Alright, do cruise control 75, snow tires. Let's listen to how loud these tires are. Alright, I set it and I'm going to be quiet. All right, we've got our results, about 65 decibels. It's really quiet. Yeah, anything under 70 is actually pretty good. Actually, I think there's a lot more wind noise than there is any tire noise. So there's a slight, I, I think there's a slight hum from the tires. So why would somebody buy a dedicated winter tire? Because they don't want to crash into a truck in Another the snow car. Belt. In the snow belt? Yeah, I mean, dedicated snow tires for winter are a must, especially here in Colorado. Um, but, you know, if you don't necessarily need that kind of grip, you don't go into the mountains like we do, uh, then an all season mud and snow tire uh, might do the trick. Yeah, but you cannot use these winter tires in the summer. You have to switch them out, right? You don't have to switch them out, but you won't. Have them for very long because they start to melt when it gets very warm. Right. So the, 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 what you know, the big difference isn't necessarily the the, tr the tread or the sipes. It's the compound, right? The compound comes alive at 44 degrees uh, or below. Or below. Yeah. A regular tire, a summer tire, basically becomes a hockey puck when it gets cold, and that's why you lose a lot of your winter traction. Not necessarily because of the way that the tread is designed. It's because of the compound that they're using. I suspect that we're not going to see a big difference in um, sound levels, but I think we will see a big difference when you go around the track. Let's see. Alrighty, here I am on the straightaway here at IMI. These are dedicated snow tires currently on this Pilot. I have um, turned off economy mode, so I'm in most powerful mode, I would say, and also traction control disabled. So let's see what it does at a mile above sea level on our test track. Come on, V6! Okay, so a mile above sea level and 8.99 seconds. And right now it's kind of a colder morning, about 45 degrees. So these dedicated snow tires are still within their operating range. Okay, my second attempt, there are 60 snow tires. Okay, V6 is working good. That was a little bit better. 
8.92. Yo, VTech, what was your fastest time there, Andre? Dude, this three row crossover is quick. Well, 8.92. You know, that's not bad. For a big crossover? Yeah, for yes. a big family crossover. I'm not sure if actually snow tires make a difference in a straight line. Right. But they certainly will make a difference going around a turn. So are you ready to take it around the track? Heck yeah, let's All do right, it. Let's do it. All right, so this may not be the highest performance uh, SUV, but nonetheless, a day at the track is an awesome day in my book. Here I go. Okay, until VTEC kicks in, I don't do very well. Ooh, there's kind of a lot of wallowing here. <laughs> This pilot is happy to go on the highway, but this pilot on a snow tire is not very happy <laughs> to turn. You know, for a Russian in a family hauler, he's not doing badly. I'm impressed, Andre. You've got quite the skill. Maybe you should uh, think about getting Paul's job and doing some uh, hotter knots, but very good. Vitek! Okay. Ooh. No, I'm sliding way too much. I think the temperature is building and these snow tires are just, they're just going away. All right, I, I take that back. I just saw this last turn. Uh, Paul, your job is safe. I'm always jealous of our professional driver, Paul Gerard, when he does hotter knots. And now I got my little tiny hotter knot in the pilot. Did I set the lap record? Uh, yes, you did actually. Um, you set the slowest rap, lap record ever. What? <laughs> that we ever done. Are you serious? I'm serious. Yeah, I'm absolutely serious. What do you think um, our slowest lap record is on Hot or Not? So I would say, since I watch Paul a lot, yeah. um, I would say I did uh, like a minute 15. Right, that's our slowest, about a minute 15. Yes. What? <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> minute 20? Yeah, minute 20, dude. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be the fastest pit stop ever. Strong like a bear. Right? Oh. Wow, 95 pounds is a lot. Right. Now I've got the Nixon Rodian GTX tires. All season, traction control disabled, economy mode off. I'm gonna brake torque it. Almost identical 8.91 versus 8.92. Uh, let me try one more time. Another 0 to 60. There. Power. I suspect this is not going to be any faster, but because the wheels are black, those rims are, you know, just a lot sexier. I'm gonna say, you look faster, Andre, but what do the numbers say? I was faster. Get out! I, I gained one tenth. <laughs> I picked up a tenth, dude. Wow. So what was the, what was the old time? Uh, 8.92. That's not bad. 8.81. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty close. It's yeah. almost identical. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see if it's faster around the track. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. I already feel faster. And the temperature is rising just a little bit. Now it's 50 degrees out, outside. And uh, these old seasons should be right at home. A tenth of a second, not a big deal, but I'm expecting Andre over there to do big things with this big black van now. So uh, I'm hoping this will be much faster. So I'm gonna reset the time. Remember the last time was 120, 35, reset. Give him the thumbs up. All right, here we go. A 
I've been reading Paul's book, Optimum Drive, where he talks about getting in the zone and driving and looking towards the next corner, attacking the turns. Here at IMI, there are a lot of uh, late apexes. So I have to be just very, very precise. And I can feel there's a lot of weight in this SUV and the suspension is very soft. It's kind of pushing. It's trying to understeer on me. The tires are not squealing quite as much. All right, it ain't no fast and furious. What are we on, nine now? But it is a pilot on all seasons rocking a race course. What more could you want? Come on, guys. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. oh, ho, ho. looky there. That is a big improvement. I've got good news and bad news. Which would you rather have first? Oh man, I have some bad news too. Uh, give me the bad news. All right, I'll give you the bad news first. Yes. Um, uh, once again, you did not break any of Paul's records. Okay. So, so, so I wasn't hoping. Yeah, I wasn't so, hoping for that. But the good news is right there. Four seconds? Yeah, you took out four seconds. One sixteen ten. So you know what happened? It felt a lot better. Yeah. But at the very end, on the last turn, yeah, uh, the brake fade came in. Oh. So I, I, I overcooked the brakes on this thing. <laughs> That's all right. They'll cool off. <laughs> Just don't turn the parking brake on, or you'll melt them to the <laughs> discs. Okay. <laughs> all right. I think we have, you know, a real result. Four yeah. seconds faster, zero to sixty. All right, Andre. So faster, zero to sixty. Yes. Much faster lap time. Yes. But it's going to be quieter. I think so because uh, the knobs are smaller, right? It's a, it's a more of an old season tire. Yeah, I don't know, you know, if knobs or no knobs makes a difference. <laughs> but we shall certainly find out. Okay. So, uh, same thing, 75 miles an hour on the highway. Roof closed. Oh, roof closed. I'll put it in the same position. You know when you're up to speed. Hold on, there's some semis here. Yeah. Hold on one sec. Yeah, you're kind of boxed in by semis now. We're between uh, 63 and 64. So it's so a couple like, decibels. It sounds like about a one decibel improvement. Yeah, but it's, it's not a huge improvement. But I think mostly it's wind noise, right? Yeah, or it could be truck noise. I mean, it's really hard to control all the variables, you know? Um, how do they feel? It feels really stable. You know, with the snow tires, I could feel like I was in a truck. Yeah. You know, a little bit more grip. It felt like a little bit more heavy. Yep. This one just rolls nice and easy. Just, yeah. Just easy going. I mean, you know, having an all season uh, is uh, big, you know, and um, I'm curious to see how they'll perform in the mud and snow up on, uh, up on uh, the ironclads. Now, you know, we're just doing this for fun, right? This is right. just... Right. This is not necessarily a scientific experiment. This is just a little bit of fun. Right. If Nexon's gonna sponsor one of our videos, I say, hell yeah, let's get him dirty. And let's get this pilot a little bit off-roady. I also have a secret weapon. What's that, Andre? I have snow mode. All right. Well, here we are at one of our favorite trailheads in winter. Yes. So we've got uh, mud and we've got melting snow and uh, actually everything. A little bit of sand, a little bit of rock. So this is a good test. Yeah, this will be uh, a good test because this is the kind of trail in Colorado you would actually take to get to the hardcore trail. Right. So if you had, let's say, a side-by-side -side or a motorcycle you're towing with this, this is the kind of trail you would go on just to get there. All right, so now it's just dirt and yeah. now we see ice. Yeah, we're getting into some ice here. We'll see how it does in ice. If a trail bus is stuck, which yeah. is a pickup truck, and then we have issues. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's shooting. He's stuck. Our, our support vehicle is stuck, Andre. He just figured it out. There we go. Okay, he got unstuck. Let's see how the Rodian does. All right. All right, here we go. Next, uh, this is a mud and snows, right? M, and, M plus S. Yeah, the mud and snows. And this pilot has an all-wheel drive system. Yeah. And look. 
So far, so good. Yeah, we'll get stuck, dude. That was easy. Okay. The truck got stuck, but we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's make it harder. Let's yeah, go it, up. it's going to get harder. It's going to get muddier. It's going to get icier. It's going to get steeper. It's going to get everything you want. We had a, a previous product, um, RU5, and we wanted to improve it. We know that the CUV and SUV market is growing, so we wanted to make sure that we we're prepared and, and hit the market strong. It's a highway, Grand Touring. Uh, we are focused on the all season. Dude, so far it's easy. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do a test. We'll stop on the hill and see if it starts going. Okay. This one works okay. Yeah, I want to try this bigger hill though. Alright, let's try All right. this. Let's try this bigger hill and see if it'll start. Let's stop on the hill actually. See how it does. Going up. Yeah, okay. Okay, stop. Here we yep. go. Here we go. Wow, it doesn't care. A little bit of traction then. Yeah, a little there. bit. Yeah, but nothing. So far, it's about. great, yeah. dude. Yeah. Do you think this pilot has underbody uh, uh, steel skid plates and underbody protection? Absolutely not. <laughs> I think the only protection that it affords is uh, the catalytic converter. <laughs> You'll tear that off right away. <laughs> and you can be really uh, gingerly and really careful here. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this makes any even pretense of being an off-roader, except for that mud and snow mode, right. mode that you have, yeah. yeah. But there's no like a rock crawler or sand or, you know, but forest no, mode. But you know, Honda and Acura, I mean, they have some really good all-wheel drive systems. They do. Especially, you know, um, super handling. So, Andre, we didn't get it stuck. Can we go to the top of the mountain rock crawling? Not, no, not the ironclads. We'll tear the bottom out of the vehicle. But with new all seasons, we yes. did manage to go faster around the track. Yes. Quicker in a straight line. A little bit. And a little quieter. Yes. But most importantly, we didn't manage to get stuck in the snow and mud. I mean, you know, with spring just around the corner, what more could you ask for? I think that's about it. Well, guys, thanks for watching and check out tflcar.com for what, Andre? News, views, and real world tire comparison reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.